today marks my day where I will shave my hair I all these hair I'm gonna take it all away so I, before I uh, get my hair shaved I would need to uh, wash my hair and also tie it tie it into like smaller smaller chunks as I think like it could be also uh, since I'm doing the shaving due to my own hair loss hair fall issues I might as well donate the hair as well to the locks of hope and today I got my barber which is my sister and she got a shaver from a friend and she would be doing the haircut session for me so I guess this records uh, the last few that I can still have my long hair to to remember or to reckon or to watch back at least for the next two to three years yeah so of course that uh, I knew a lot of people would also say you don't need to go bald to save your hair scalp but uh, I find it more comforting and more easy to actually take care of my scalp without the hair but I figured like without the hair it would be so much more direct the process would be much easy much direct Yep, so this is the outcome of the shaved and I actually find it very uh, light and refreshing because like there's no more weight on me in terms for my head and I don't know, shower gets really convenient and it's fast Yep, from this hair, I've took out this much hair which was supposed to be for my yeah, this is how I look like previously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With all this hair, uh, I'm intending to donate it to the Locks of Hope, which is an organization in Malaysia which they collect uh, length hairs and create wigs for cancer patients. They're an NGO. Uh, however, I haven't been. Uh, I haven't tried donating it before and there's pretty much limited information uh, on how I can donate it by myself on the internet because I think most people they donate through uh, going to a associated or partnered salon to do it so I'm gonna find out how to donate all this hair and also tell you in the next video on how I do it how I donate my hair what's the process like and stay tuned <laughs>